So you're looking to get your kid in the best shape of their life and you want the best for them. Now the simple answer is, is that you're gonna do whatever it takes, you're gonna spend whatever you need to in order for them to get the best opportunities out there. Now the question that I wanna have, and I'm gonna actually flip this video around, is how is that different from you? Because they get tired, they're super busy, and these kids' things, they're expensive. But the question is, how is their life any different than yours? What example are we leading by doing as we say, but not doing as we do? So you get up and you're tired. And I remember many a times where we'd be driving from daycare, the kids would go and have their lunch, they would have their rest time, they'd be on their phones while Nary and I would work out. Then we would drive to swimming lessons. And they would both be passed out in the back seats. And half the time they're half, they're, they're half asleep. We put them on my shoulder, I've got swim bags on me, lunches, all this and that, and I walk into the swimming pool and I'm changing them and they're so tired and this and that. And they're like, I don't wanna to swim today. And what do we tell them? You gotta learn this, you gotta do this. Why is it that they gotta learn this? Why is it that they gotta do it? Because it's essential for their future, right? And so we want them to be fit. We want them to learn how to swim. It's just like, I want you to be fit. I want you to live old enough to see your grandchildren. I want you to be active. And so when we get tired, it's just like, what would we do with our kids? We would force them to go, okay? Now you obviously wouldn't like make them, make them go, and if they don't wanna go, you would actually give up, but how do you feel about that? You don't feel great. So the same thing, the next time that you're tired and you want to not go to the gym, or you want to sleep in, or you want to give up, what would you tell your kid when you know that they have the potential to do it, you would tell them to get their ass up and let's go do this. So what about when they're getting busy? Because there's been days, like I said, where my kids go from school to after program, to the gym with us, they go to swimming. It's such a busy, busy, long day. But because we know how important these kids' activities are, their dance lessons, their piano lessons, their swimming lessons. These things are so important that we plan our entire day just to drive our kid from school all the way to the other side to get to a hockey game. That's so important because we want them to live a athletic, we want them to be in shape, we want them to be healthy. But what about us when we get really busy and we work late and we don't wanna wake up early and so we don't wanna change our schedule so we miss the gym and then we miss the gym for a week a week turns into two weeks, two weeks turns into a month, you quit your membership, and there's a chance that you might not go back. Because we aren't fixing our eating habits in between, and unfortunately, we don't live in a climate here in Winnipeg where we can be outside and go for runs and bike ride and this and that, where we're actually burning enough calories and building enough muscle so that we can burn these calories off that we're consuming. And so when we get busy, we have to understand that, hey, we can make and arrange time to get our kids to practice, to school, or whatever they gotta do, why can't we get our asses to the gym? No excuse, you're not too busy, they aren't, you can do it. Now what about affording it, okay? And I remember having a discussion with somebody and they were just really trying to get out of the membership because they said that they absolutely couldn't afford it. And so I just said, hey, like let's, would you be willing, okay? I would be willing to give a discount if we can sit down and we can look over your finances to see if maybe there is something out there that we could remove that would replace your thing that you don't need with something that you absolutely do need. So they brought their credit card statement. Now on their credit card statement, what did I see? Two phone bills valued at $300, okay? You don't need a $300 phone bill, okay? We just need basic internet on our phone, because there's Wi-Fi everywhere. So we should be able to connect onto a Wi-Fi program that you don't need a $300 program. That's $150 each. Why did you upgrade your phone? Do you absolutely need to upgrade your phone every single year? The iPhone 19 is as good as the iPhone 24. You don't need it, okay? You don't need the most camera. If you're a photographer, you're not using your iPhone for your, for your photos and photos aren't even being printed anymore. So having that massive high resolution doesn't even really matter. You're just uploading the Facebook and you're just uploading the Instagram. Who cares? You know, it's the same. 
Did you need to buy a $15 item from Sheen every week? Do you need cable and internet and a landline that you're spending $350 a month on? I literally just canceled my cable and it cut my phone bill or my internet bill in half. So I went from $200 to $100. And I'm like, I haven't watched TV since. Who cares? I don't need to watch TV. Everything is streaming anyways. So you get what I'm saying at, is that we can afford the things that we can afford, but the things that we really need, we downplay and we say that we can't afford it. And so when we really dig deep into our finances and we took a look at where our money is going and where it should go, I think that you and I are gonna have a different discussion about what you can and cannot afford. Because constantly buying things off Amazon constantly buying things off Sheen and having all these random subscriptions that you absolutely don't need aren't improving your life. They're not adding more value onto your life. They're not making you healthier. They're not making you live longer. So we need to look at our health versus the things that we don't need and putting the health of importance first. And if you can get over all these three things of being tired, being too busy, you can't afford it, and you're looking for a place where you're gonna feel motivation, where you're gonna have a room full of people that are cheering for you, and you're gonna have a coach in your corner that's gonna make sure that you're reaching your max potential, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, and mention the five days. And if you're a member, and you're looking to re-spark, you're looking to get realigned, and you need that push, then make sure that you mention the belly burn, and we'll get you into the next one.